Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I'm gonna roast lyrics because this guy is just driving me crazy. And the song is a beautiful song if you don't listen to what the words are about. But if you do, I'm about to ruin the song for you right now if you haven't been listening to it like that yet. This song is to me the epitome of men who cannot take responsibility for their own actions. And they fucking try to blame every fucking thing else on the planet for anything that goes wrong in their life. And then what is the excuse they give? God. So this is what a man child is. This is what a man baby is. And there's a lot of women out there who hear this song and go, oh, that's so romantic. And then there's a lot of dudes out there that hear this song and go, oh, I totally feel you, bro. I totally feel you. If you want to think that the God you believe in kills people to just have fun with you as a pawn in a game of chess, I have no idea what the fuck to tell you, okay? I mean, yes, I guess if that's how you think the world works, then a song like this makes perfect sense. That you need to beg and plead that you don't lose something that you have done nothing wrong to lose. Okay? So, we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Let, let, let's get to, um, back to the hotel here. So, this song is called Beautiful Things by a, a dude named Benson Boone. And I would not even know this song if it wasn't for fucking Instagram. Congratulations on your success, bro. For a while there, it was rough. But lately I've been doing better. In the last four cold Decembers, I recall. Probably because he was like 12 four Decembers ago. So there's that. So so here we go. Now, now, now we're really getting into it. He sees his family every month, okay? He found a girl that his parents love. And I'm assuming he's not talking about his sister. She'll come and stay the night, and I think I might have it all. Now here is the awesome, awesome, oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll, I, oh. I, I had to get another cup of coffee for this bit. This is the thing that cracks me up so much about shit like this, okay? So she'll come and stay the night, and I think I might have it all. These religious people with their, like, we have to do everything by the book, you know, so we don't get judged, but I'm still going to bone down with this chick. Like, and I think I might have it all. I have God in my religion and I have this awesome piece of ass <laughs> and my parents like her too. Oh my gosh. Life's great. Now, some of you might be going, why are you just assuming that this guy is like some kind of Christian thing or whatever? This whole song is begging God not to judge him and take his shit away. The whole song, okay? This is one of those songs that people who go to church are like, is this a song that we could maybe perform and, uh, and, and worship? Is this a praise song? Can we transfer this into our Sunday service? It, it's so fucking hysterical, okay? So, so let's just get, let's, let's, skip past the hypocrisy of dudes boning down, okay? But, like, don't get me wrong. Bone, bone, bone. Just don't throw guilt and God into it. The only time God and Jesus need to be involved in sex is when you're calling those names out. <laughs> oh, oh, speaking of God. And I thank God every day. And it's probably during the, yeah, okay. And I thank God every day. For the girl he sent my way. Okay, so right here, I'm going to call bullshit on anyone who says that this song is not a Christian song. He's sitting here saying he, capital H, sent this girl to him. So she had no control over it. He had no control over it. God just made this girl happen in this one place. Boom. There you go. Like, you have no... Um, responsibility, you have no control. This is destined. 
Like, you guys are fucked. Oh my god. It's just gonna get worse, guys. For the girl he sent my way. But I know the things he gives me. He can take away. What the fuck is that? Why? Oh my god. And I hold you every night. Okay, so he's talking about this girl that he's like doing the bone thug with, okay? Because he doesn't want to let her go, even though he just said God could take her away at any time. And I hold you every night. But I think he says, and I hold you every night. And that's a feeling I want to get used to. Then don't be a dick and get used to it, bro. But there's no man as terrified as the man who stands to lose you. Okay, my question, what did you do, bro? What did you do to lose her? People don't just lose people they love, okay? Like, you would have to have done something to lose this girl. Like, is she dead? Did you kill her? Did you poison her? Or did she find out that you're banging her mom? Or did she find out that you are talking to like 30 other girls on freaking Instagram or Tinder or whatever the hell it is? Or did she find out that she's brunette and all the girls you talk to or all the girls you follow on Instagram are blonde? <laughs> you had to have done something. Like, she's not just going to disappear, okay? So let, 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 let's, let's get into this. And then he goes, oh, fuck. Oh, I hope I don't lose you. Mm. Oh. And then and this is when the song gets good, right? Because all that other shit, like, the song's, like, really boring and very generic. But this is where the, the hook comes in. So this is where everyone falls in love with this song. It's like, oh, please... Stay, I want you, I need you, oh God. Don't take these beautiful things that I can. Okay, so let's just, let's just dissect this for a little bit. So he says, please stay. I want you, I need you, oh God. Okay, this is something that I try to explain to people all the fucking time. And I even try to explain it to me because sometimes it's hard for me to hear. You can want somebody all you want. And that's good and that's healthy. Okay. When you need someone, that is when it's not healthy anymore. It becomes dependency. Okay. So really think about those words when you're talking to somebody that you love or someone that you really, really like. Okay, because the 50s up through, I mean, I guess the present day, but I was just going to say the 50s through the 80s really fucked our psyche up on what it means to fall in love with somebody through pop music. Like pop music made us all think that if we didn't have the person we loved, we have to. Okay, and just all the fucking time. So this guy, he's like, please stay. I want you, I need you, oh God. Now when he says, oh God, that's big G. This is the next line. He's like, please stay, I want you, I need you. Oh God, don't take these beautiful things that I've got. Okay, so now, not only is this unhealthy and codependent, but this is a beautiful thing that he has. He's talking about a girl. He's talking about a woman that he loves. And now she is a possession. This beautiful thing that I got. Oh God, don't take it from me. Now he's a petulant little bitch child crying about someone taking his toys. This is not a fucking man. This is disgusting. I don't know why people haven't like caught on to like, oh, this dude is toxic as fuck. <laughs> oh my God, I just want my stuff. That's also a female. Okay, um, please stay. I want you, I need you. Oh, God, don't take these beautiful things that I got. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Please don't take. Okay, and then now, now we're back into him 
like having to like be in front of people and not just in front of God begging for his possessions to not be taken. I found my mind. I'm feeling sane. Jury's out. It's been a while, but I'm finding my faith. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, it, all this is fine if if you're a Christian and, and you have faith. This this is fine. Oh, oh, okay. People as possessions. That's totally cool. I got you. If everything's good and it's great, why do I sit and wait till it's gone? Because you have fucking emotional problems and you need to see a fucking therapist. And you need to quit blaming every horrible thing on God. And look at how you interact with things and the things that you do. You're a horrible fucking person. Jesus. <sighs> oh, I'll tell you. I know I've got enough. I bet you do. You probably made a fucking killing on this fucking song, you loser. Oh, I tell you, I know I've got enough. I've got peace and I've got love. But I'm up at night thinking I just might lose it all. Nobody does that unless they're guilty of something and afraid of getting caught. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you just lose everything you have? Not one sane fucking human being who has done nothing wrong ever thinks that they're going to fucking lose everything and they're up all night thinking about it. And if they are, that is mental illness and you need to speak to a professional. The fuck? But no, it's not mental illness because he's turning this into God. You know, he read the book of Job. He, he knows what the score is. So what's this douchebag say now? Okay, so Evan Blair, Benson Brooks, and Jack, whatever. All three of you people wrote this song. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, so now we're back to him begging and pleading. Please stay. I want you. I need you. Oh, God, don't take these beautiful things that I've got. Oh, 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 oh. Please stay. I want you. I need you. Oh, God. I need I need this beautiful thing that I got. Okay. So this dude um, cannot accept any responsibility for anything. If he loses everything, it's not because he did something wrong. It's because God decided to take it away. And his parents like the chick that he's boning every night. So, you know, hypocrisy runs rampant in Christianity. Awesome possum i love it so if you enjoyed this <laughs> please leave a comment down below if you think i'm off base you're wrong but leave a comment down below anyway and we'll talk about it okay type hard everybody new type hard merch is coming soon so be prepared for that and i will talk to you all later